left onto Florida 518 East, West Oak Alley Boulevard. Signs for Dog Track, Melbourne. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Cask of Men and welcome to Gashelli Labs. Let's go check it out. Okay, so we're sitting here with Gashelli, right? Gashelli. Gashelli. Yeah. <laughs> Start again. So we're sitting here with people from Gashelli and um, we got to get a tour of your guys' factory here, which is pretty sweet. Enjoyed it. Um, so I just want to ask you some questions and banter back and forth for a little while. Sure. And then we'll just cut together whatever we want for the YouTubes. <laughs> but I want to ask you guys um, if you can go through like a brief history of the company and what got you interested mm -hmm. in making backs and headphone amps, etc. So Gino grew up loving audio. He was a musician, bass player. Um, and he was in a position in life where he really couldn't afford nice hi-fi audio and he always wanted to be able to and so musicians usually do <laughs> he uh started making his own for himself and he's just like that weird after work he wants to go and design things and one day he called me in and he's like look i made this deck i, I like it. it sounds pretty good about five seconds in i'm like you made this and he's showing me all the stuff and he's starting to you know go on and on and i'm like you know, this is amazing. <laughs> and that's kind of how it started. But what was very important to him was based on how he grew up, he wanted to make sure he could do hi-fi audio at a price that people, anybody could afford. Uh, there, even No matter how good it gets, he didn't want to leave out the people who were like him when he was growing up. That's correct. Yeah, so we, <clears throat> yeah, it just, you know, I've owned quite a few products, you know, uh, out there even back in the early 2000s and 90s, um, dating myself. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've owned a couple different products and all, you know, all great products. Uh, just decided one day, I was like, yeah, I, I wanna make a DAC with, a, with an AK chip in it. Um, and nothing really existed. There, there were a few things at the time, but um, nothing that was affordable at the time. Everything was so expensive. So <clears throat> I just said, oh, I'm going to make something for myself and uh, sat down, grinded through it, you know, uh, got the proto boards, um, got it, you know, made it, it probably cost five or $600 worth of time and parts, you know, and, and it was a total DIY and, uh, and I made it, I let people hear it and they're like, holy crap, you got to sell this. And then I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so Sherry was the one who was like, you got to sell it. And she starts getting everybody. To yeah. Come he was like, you know how artists don't like to show their work and writers <laughs> don't like that. He was yeah. that. And, uh, fortunately we had, you know, very close connection with Patrick Air Force Base. So we just started eBay local. Yeah. And that's, exactly that's, that's how it all yeah. got started. And a lot of the, um, airmen that were there were so appreciative to be able to get a hold of you know something awesome that yeah know, I mean they're alpha beta testers yeah, yeah. I'll awesome. never forget yeah our first guy was a was an Air Force <clears throat> a enlisted Air Force guy we we drove and met him halfway he was over on the beach side with Patrick and uh, and he had his whole uniform and everything he's just like counting out the cash yeah, we're dealing so, down yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and uh Yes, you know, we, uh, for real. We opened up the trunk of our car, and that was our very awesome. first official sale. And we were like dancing around, we're like holy crap! We were and so excited. And then he started telling, telling his, his friends, friends and his friends, and then all of a sudden it was like, "Shoot, there's five people that want it by this weekend. Can we make them?" I'm like, "No." Uh, yes. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Like holy crap, these things are hard to make. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but that's how it all. Yeah, started. that's how it started. And then um, our son actually knew. Uh, one of the YouTubers and had us send it in. And yeah, he watched oh, the, yeah. one of the YouTubers. Look at that. <laughs> but he, he watched one of the YouTubers and uh, yeah, he was like, oh, you got to try this. And, you know, we kind of, all right, we'll try, you know, s submitting things to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to YouTube people. Um, 
and you send it to, up to a couple different people, or you at least try to contact a couple different people, and and one of them got back with us. And... Yeah, and it was funny because there's there's a whole gap there where people turned us down. I oh mean, yeah, everybody. So we we would go to the, these little audio meetups around Florida, and nobody would give us the time of day. Stores, even some of the larger online retailers that oh yeah that take people that are just. No. So it was, it was Yeah, I remember we can't draw names. Yeah, so. I don't, <laughs> don't want to name muscle. drop on your... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <laughs> I don't, that'll give us a big subscriber boost. <laughs> Just start shitting, starting all kinds of YouTube Yeah, yeah exactly. But no, I mean, honestly, at the time, you know, we were we were small. I mean, what do you expect? You know, we, we were nobody. It, Nobody, you know, knew anything. You know, we we didn't. They didn't know anything about us. We were just two random people making some hardware. You know, and, and it's, you know, and I always said, I say I tell other people, I'm kind of, you know, coming off the subject a little bit. But I always tell other people, you know, grind and grind and grind, and eventually you'll get to talk to more YouTubers, and people will find interest in what you're doing. You know, and all of a sudden, you know. There'll be people and, hitting and you up all be, the time. You can't be afraid. We walked into one um, like meetup, and the man had five five bedrooms oh, with nothing in it but a chair and foam and and not foam, but the uh, every bedroom. Yeah, I would wow. say this. Every so bedroom in, in this guy's house, he had like a mansion. Every bedroom in this guy's house looked like the audio show that we were yes. just all at. Um, it looked like that. I'm like, we're like, and, and we're standing there. We're, yeah, it, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just a the, the meetup. Oh, thing. the audio equipment he had. I mean, his speakers were just tens of thousands of dollars. They had gorgeous, gorgeous sets. And we're standing there with our, our stupid shirts at our very first deck, trying like, here we are. I, it was, it was bad. It was. Got it. Got it. But you gotta do that. To, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, to grow. Yeah, I mean, we were surprised. We went to the Tampa Audio Show, audio show or Expo, or whatever. We met you guys. Everyone was super nice. Yeah. Super, like, really inviting in the community. Yeah. It's so, a super it's, cool, like, you know, bunch of uh, good groups of people, you know, definitely. We had nothing but positive experience there. Everybody was nice. You know, just like you said, everybody was cool. It was good to meet you guys. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm glad you guys yeah. are doing this. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Well, I, the more people that learn about audio, because it was becoming like a dinosaur. You yeah, know, everything was just on the computer, and people, and it's starting to. I yeah, think, everything's earbuds and iPhones. Yeah, now. and I think it's starting to revitalize now. Yes. And the more people that can understand what good high fine audio is, I think the better for the whole community. Right. And it's not crazy expensive anymore. No, right. that's the big thing. Is like you know. Normies, or us, all of us normies can buy. It. You know, we, we know we can afford it. You don't have to pay two grand for headphones. You know, they they have amazing headphones that are two hundred bucks. You know, and and it sounds like a lot even you know there, but I mean, in retrospect, how much headphones used to cost? A really good pair, or, oh yeah, you know, amplifiers sure. and stuff. So, I mean, they used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Like over a thousand. I mean, oh, yeah. I've, I've done a little bit of studio work and I can get by now with a really good pair of $200. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. like $200 Sennheisers compete against oh, yeah. what we used to cost. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds yes. of dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for people who aren't too familiar, um, Shelly, did I say it right? That's fine. Just Shelly. <laughs> oh, I found her to Shelly. No, to Shelly. Yeah. Uh, Everybody I'm like, oh, huh? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what's the average price of one of your guys' stacks? Currently, uh, our highest price product is one seventy nine, um, and that's for our DAC and one seventy nine ninety nine. And our Arsenal two is the Arsenal two point five is also one seventy nine ninety nine. We're planning, hoping to introduce two new products uh, in two thousand twenty, and that will be oh, at a higher awesome. price point. But uh, for right now. They may or may not have more features than everybody wants, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah. there's been a lot of feedback, so he, we've been taking that into consideration. Yes, we've been working very hard, <laughs> you know. Try to incorporate what people say they want yes. into some new products that we can still make affordable. That's the big catch. Sure, yeah. You know, everybody wants a whole lot of stuff, but can you make it affordable? Yes. That's where we're at now. So. 
Yeah, well, that's then, good. I mean, to have a wide range of product offerings. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. It, it so. is. And we do free shipping to the U.S. and Canada, um, which a lot of companies don't ship free to Canada. So. Say, there you go, Canada. Oh, okay. <laughs> free shipping. Oh, we love Canada. <laughs> we have a lot of customers in Canada. Yeah, it's two yeah. Free, three day shipping. Uh, we use FedEx, so it's. This yeah. company has made me more Canadian friends than anything. Oh, I mean, I, know. I was like, I, I, you know. Yeah, North America, <laughs> I guess, is a big high five. Right. Mm -hmm. So, how do you guys name your products? Because if I can pronounce the name of the company, <laughs> I'm probably pronouncing the name of the product wrong. I know, they're weird, aren't they? Uh, so, what happened was our son had renamed everybody. And Gino was Enoch. That's what he called him for years. Um, our son Rachel, he used to call our daughter Rachel. Our, our daughter. Yeah. Our yeah. son called our daughter. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it's 2020. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do whatever, be you, whatever want. you want. We'll yeah. <laughs> um, so Rachel became Archel. Yes. Um, and then our next two products are going to be also a play on what he called me and then his own name. But that's how the product. Now he will be forever known as Enoch. Yeah. And she loves the name Archel. She even though she just she'll walk around, she's like, that's mine. That's she actually mine. created a holiday called Archel Day. Yes, we have Archel <laughs> Day. It's like August. Yeah, it's some made-up day that she's been celebrating for years and <laughs> it's bad if you forget that Archel Day is coming up. Is yeah. it like a do you like have to exchange gifts? Or? Yes. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think I'm getting any gifts during our show today. Yeah. yeah. I think she gets, she gets the gifts. So it's just and, a second birthday. Yes. yes. And the older she's getting, the the more I'm like, really? Yeah. Well, but, you're in college. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah the yeah. gift is college. And, yeah. and all the, the worst the worst part is all her friends know it, and they they will tweet Happy Archel Day, and I mean it's uh, turned oh, into it's like. Oh, it's a meme. Yes. Yeah, it's a yes. Meme. Yes. It's a meme. Yeah. yeah. But that's how that's how we name everything. Yeah. It's just through my son. We'll be running out of names soon. So. Yeah, you'll see the our moms, you know. <laughs> Their yeah, names yeah, will be coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just combine people's names. Yeah. Yes, yes. Reverse names. Reverse. <laughs> Since you guys make headphone amps, yes. what are some of your favorite headphones? Okay, I'm gonna answer this. <laughs> now I'll answer this. Uh I like Pretty much all the modern day headphones that you see in the reviews so far, uh, I've listened to are amazing. So I'm gonna give that general answer like that. Um, <clears throat> right now, we're, we, I, I'll answer, we're, we're doing a bunch of testing with uh, Barodynamics, the 990s, uh, we, you know, the 600 ohm versions, I really like, I've, you know, kind of tinny sounding, but very good. They have a little bit of high trouble sound to them, but uh, very good headphone. Um, Ostex, uh, T50RP, I believe. Um, the Sennheisers, of course, those are go-tos. Can't go wrong. The 650 HD. I'm trying to get all the names right on yeah, camera. Yeah, the 6XX. Um, um, you're trying to get all the, yeah, the Hi-Fi Man. Just yeah. got a set of those. The Planars are amazing. Um, uh, Odyssey, Odyssey, A-U-D-I-Z-E. I don't know how to spell it. I mean, I we just got those. Yeah, half the companies they always real... say Gashelli, so I'm gonna say Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's, that's fair. Uh, um, makes good stuff. Uh, there's a couple there's, there's others. So there's many. So many. I, on my desk over there, I have an old pair of Grados. Grados. And I know that uh, everybody's like, people oh, hate. Yeah, uh, people love, love and hate Grados. I love them. I love the, the, the ones I have are under a hundred dollars. They're open. They're Solid, yes, I like love them. Grados. I actually own quite a few. I owned Grados back in the day when Grados were like getting reviews, like were their greatest sounding headphones ever, but the worst looking headphones <laughs> ever. You know, um, love Grados. Uh, yeah, I'd say. Is I mean, that, I'm missing that? probably some. Well, I yeah. mean, I mean we have we have to have a lot of different ones because well, yes. and when we start to see a trend like with the six XXs, everybody started buying them. They'd ask us, you know, is it compatible? Yes. Well, we better find out. Yeah. So oh, we I'm have. Sure you guys get so many questions yeah. We that. we do. Yeah, so I we have, have to make sure this that. This works with my XXX headphones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually, most of my pairs are at home. Everybody always thinks they're here. You know, oh, I want to come to your shop and see your headphones. I'm like, they're mostly at home. You know, so a lot that's of times where you get to sit and chill. Yes. Listen, here we have to work. We have to yes. ride. At home, we can just kind of exactly, pick exactly. It. So I'll throw them on my, you know, the DAC at home, the headphone amp, and listen to them. You can get, you know, you get good chill. Exactly, good chill time where you can kick back and it's not here. <laughs> sure. You know, um, that's where I feel that I could like really listen to it. But honestly, uh, I, 
I, I haven't really heard a bad, like a headphone where I cringed. I mean, you Except know. For our now, there's lots of, uh, of yeah, I mean, there, it had, the headphone games got so good. It's like the amp game and everything else, the DAC game. I mean, everything's gotten so good, you know. It, it's like, it's hard to pick out like Champion. At this point, it's like, you know, these are really good. I, I, I'm to the point like this headphone is really good for electronic music. This headphone is really good for jazz. This headphone is really good for classical. You know, you're listening to some classical music or something. Or comfort level. You know, yes. one of them. Some of them are just really comfortable. Yeah, and, that you could just wear for a while. Some might sound amazing, but you know, you get fatigue yes. after maybe a half hour. So you're like, okay, well, that's not for long term listening but. but i like i mean everything that's out there everything i've heard we were just the audio show i mean every pair i heard there oh, just yeah, sounded amazing uh, like, oh. yeah <laughs> they they did and it, i think it just comes down to personal preference yes at some point uh, i agree yeah i'm interested to know because i come from more of the audio production side so yeah. i'm used to like audio technica sennheiser oh yeah um, yeah like the typical studio one but they're boring they're just flat headphones <laughs> like they're, right they're right, not supposed right. to have a sound stage or any characteristic i'll go so, back to, i'm gonna cut you off i'm gonna say yeah. i'll go back to the bear dynamic bear bear buyer bear dynamics so i say it. um i think like for listening to pop if you know something to, like listen to kind of pop music they're so punchy and I always, you know, watch a lot of people's reviews and they kind of say similar, you know, very, a lot of sibilance, uh, you know, a lot of like just, they're just got like those highs and lows that are just so like in your face. Yeah. So, you know, if you're looking at it, you know, a type of headphone that's just completely different than your reference type of headphones, you know, um, I think those, you know, are kind of my go-tos. So I don't listen to anything that's just super punchy, throw those on, they'll just blow your skull out. <laughs> Sorry, internet, for opinions. <laughs> for opinions, yeah. <laughs> yes, there goes the comments. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we won't have to. <laughs> um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, I assume you guys have to test from the headphones, just for fun, honestly, time, yeah. just to see what it sounds like. So yeah, at a but, technical level, you're always just looking for, you know, are these headphones, are you clipping these headphones? Is there enough power? Mm -hmm. We get emails all yeah, the time, you know. One. Can we drive? Yes, X, Y, Z. So, you know, most of the time we're doing this, um, you're really looking at like the technical side of headphones, you know, and like I said, at home, you know, we're listening to, you listen to them differently at home, but. Sure. When we're doing stuff here, we have our reference sets here that we listen to that we know are very, very popular. Well, on the and same token, our very first art show, um, when the inner ear started getting big. Oh, uh, IEMs, yeah. Yeah, it didn't work out well uh, with our first one because it had too much punch. Yeah. You know, our amp was just, it didn't have, the first one didn't have a gain switch and it had just too much power and there were some things that it just didn't work out well. Right. So you have to know that because you're not going to, when somebody writes in, you don't want them to buy something and be disappointed. Right. So you have to know the good and the bad. Right. Yeah, there's IEMs. So everybody's getting into IEMs now, you know, they're low ohms, you know, you don't hardly need any power for a lot of these and you just crank it a little bit and they're blasting. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, I haven't been too much into IEMs. I know, you know a lot of our users are. Yeah. Uh, and, and now we have a gain switch, so that's yeah, kind of taking care of, of it, but our first product didn't. Yeah. So. Just blasted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk about fatigue. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you recommend any headphones? We get asked that all the time. Sure we want your Shelly headphones. <laughs> I, I, it's never been my thing you know what i mean that that's a different world um that's kind of like driving nascar versus driving indy car you know or something like that or driving dirt track um or drivers it, it's it's a different discipline um i don't think anytime soon i think i would be more uh kind of into like collaborating with somebody that wanted to do it yeah, a pro on that side. I don't think I don't think I would be a pro at doing that. You know, making those drivers and stuff on there—that's a whole different beast. Um, but I'd never be. You know, I, I wouldn't be opposed to collaborating. We've talked about it. You know, we've we've had a couple people that have reached out, and we've kind of talked about it. But it was—it's just a, it's a different beast. You know? Fair enough. I figured the answer would be for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, making DACs and making headphones. Is just two, 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 it's a, you know, 
you know, you want to get into amps, like you're saying, you know, imagine now, like, headphones are like, like, much more like of a physical science in a way, you know, so you're talking about a, you know, uh, physics of a, of a cone creating, you know, sound pressure. That's yeah, very you, different, you know, like. And you want to talk about, you know, passing, we have to go through all the safety testing stuff. Oh, I couldn't imagine. Headphones, I can't even imagine what they have to go through. Really? If well, they're going through it, yeah, I don't. Well, you would. Yeah, oh. you, well, else it was eardrum, I wouldn't right. want to take that loss. Yeah, that's, <laughs> But there's guys, like, we, we've seen, you know, guys in other countries making them and they're, you know, just like making them in their own little shops. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there's a Russian winding dude. magnets. And, yeah, that Russian. There's a Russian yeah, dude yeah. that's, yeah. he was on, uh, what, you know who I'm talking about? I've seen a few. I, yeah. Two, he usually makes the amps, not, I haven't seen many of them make the headphones. Yeah, this guy's making headphones. They got one making headphones. really big. Yeah, he's on one of the uh, crowdfunding sites. Yeah. Um, and he's. Uh, like, yeah. Or yeah. And he's doing pretty good. People seem to like him, but he's yeah. making them out of his own. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? Crowdfund. I wish I had gotten in on at the time. It's the company is called like uh, Maglev. They yeah. make a levitating turntable. Oh yeah. So I don't know if you guys have seen that. Yeah. No, no. That could actually, I guess they just use magnets. That's awesome. But the, the yeah, there's electromagnetic. The yeah. platter itself sits on like three like three pegs, and then. Like when it turns into operation, That's the peg is lower and the platter levita levitates to start spinning. Really? So you're right and just yeah, people are so smart. Like, like, I mean, isn't it crazy? That's awesome. Like, damn it. Why, well, yeah, why didn't I think the record it? doesn't have to sound yeah. good? Yeah, <laughs> you just, look you're at just it, watching you're like, it. Yeah. That's pretty Whoa. cool. Yeah, there's no like motor issue, like, no weird, you know, motor issue, belt issues with that. That's, a, that's there's probably no genius. interference. Well, I don't, I don't know about no interference, but. I, mean, I guess it traditional is, is a giant electromagnetic that thing, is true, basically. So I don't know how they got around that. Yeah, I guess if you can isolate that, but it, still, that's that's a great idea. I mean, you know, that's perfect, like smooth. You, you don't get frictionless. Yeah. Damn it. So that's a You're eventually. fine. People always make cool you're, stuff. You're fine. You you make cool stuff. <laughs> well, if we ever get really big, I'll hit them up and be yes. like, hey, can you <laughs> yes. send us two? Yeah, yeah, there you go. So you figure out how to incorporate magnets in our stuff now. Like, somehow. Just levitating levitating back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> magnets rule. Just cause. Yes, just, just, just cause. cause. You exactly. have to send an extra little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then I'm over there with the safety things. Caution, Pace magnets. Pacemaker or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, don't, don't have your cell phone here. Yeah. Oh, uh, you ever going to potentially look at non solid state? equipment uh, okay uh, like yes yeah, so you're asking the, that this is good yeah, we we get so tubes you know yeah uh, tube. yeah yeah so um we get asked this all the time so you're asking the questions of people all i mean we get emails every day asking pretty much those questions uh i got into it i, I own a couple tube amps at home um so i think the the current solutions that are out there are very much tubes done right. I think that, you know, a lot of what we're seeing out there, uh, I'm gonna give China a lot of credit. I think they're making a lot of good tube amps. Um, they're actually, they got a pretty mean tube amp game right now. Um, uh, incorporate a Chinese tube amp with some Russian tubes and maybe some American tubes and Macintosh, but so yeah, no, no, no. They're, 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 so. Yeah, their tube amp game is no joke. Uh, you know, so we've talked about it. Um, I actually got into starting a couple of designs with tubes, but um, I think, so uh, the easiest way to describe, I, I guess our current flow, we, we have a backlog of stuff we need to create <laughs> right now. Um, so tubes are not on the initial, I'd say in the, right in front of us right now. Um, maybe sometime in the future, uh, we'll get into it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we'd ever get into big power tubes, maybe a little 12 AXN, you know, AX7, excuse me, uh, 12 AX7 tube type things, you know, a uh, little two channel tube, something like that, you know, maybe integrated a solid state slash tube solution. Um, but uh, yeah, as of it is right now, uh, we're, we're gonna probably push forward on our current solid state designs. You can do what a lot of these people seem to do where they're like, 10th anniversary limited run. Yes, yes. We only made 1,500 of these. <laughs> yes, yes. Buy one for $5,000 yes. now. And, and Sherry being my wife, she would probably uh, be saying, We're, we got to put all kinds of guards around the tube so, so something gets burned. Yeah, you know? so, <laughs> yes. so that's the problem. The, the, 
he would love to, I think, do more than what <laughs> what we're going to do because of safety and certification. So, yeah. And all this stuff costs a lot of money to put out. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Elon Musk made a flamethrower. So, <laughs> That's true. I think you guys can Elon Musk can afford to make a flamethrower. It's well. not a flamethrower. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. For legal reasons, it's not a flamethrower. But it's, yeah, it's... The, the tube solutions out there are so good that, you know... Uh, it's just kind of one of those things. I don't know, you know, exactly, you know, what path we would go down in making it better. It, I'm, I'm one of those guys that's, you know, I want to get the best out of the tube, you know, so I'd be trying to figure out how to like make everything so transparent that you only hold it, like, you know, only, only the tubes doing the work. Um, You're probably better off making the tubes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're manufacturing tubes. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. But I mean, you know, you got Macintosh. You, I mean, they're, they're they're like the no-brainer and the king of tubes, in my opinion. You know, I mean, but um, for affordability, I mean, Macintosh are pretty expensive. So for affordability, a lot of the Chinese, you know, uh, Yakin, I have to drop their name. I think it's like Yqyuin, Yqyuin. Um, they make a great hi-fi tube amp. Uh, you know, that that's very affordable, and you know. I've actually taken a couple of them apart to look at them, and they're straight up tube amps. You know, they're 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 cheap. You know, they 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 do the job. I like I have a couple, so. um, but maybe in the future. So maybe after a few painstaking years of uh, yes research and development. Yeah, yeah, yes. I I honestly went down the path of starting a couple mm -hmm. of tube designs, and, and I was like, uh, and I'm like, it's no. Be <laughs> well, you guys. We're doing fine with this. What about potentially a uh, either a phono preamp or uh, maybe a power amp? So uh, <clears throat> we have a couple people that bought our original Archul for phono preamp. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you could most likely use the amp right now. We actually have a couple people that use the Archul two for for phono now. Um, wow. You know, it, it's it's worth a you know a look into that. I know they people make you know, phono preamps specific, and sometimes they even put little EQs and stuff like that, but um, we have eh, a couple people, at least a couple people uh, that are using say, phono preamps. It's, it's, it's actually um, more common than you think that they yeah. use our products as a I mean, uh, because it the, since you did design that way, uh, the RAA equalization? That yeah, so exactly, like no, that. you're correct. Like, so yeah, it's not, it's not a, you're, you're exactly right. So it's not, you know, following the rules and, per se, but, um, you're exactly right. We're the standards for phono preamp. You know, we're not following any of that. Um, but there are people that use it. You know, we actually had a couple of customers that just plug it in. You know, plug the RCAs in from a you know a turntable and, and just amp it up. Exactly. But it's not going to be you know official. Let's say it like that. Um, what was the other question? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, power amp. Power amp. So uh, that a lot of people ask us. Uh, a lot of people want to plug our products into. We call them big boy speakers, and I'm like, no. <laughs> um, uh, so we've, you know, we've talked about that, and that's something that's on the like in the future, kind of written down in the future to look into. Um, you know, one day I think we'll get into making bigger amps. You know, we'll keep stepping it up, uh, getting into some big classy amps maybe, but uh, or you know, some some higher wattage, you know, people, people can never have enough wattage, it seems, yeah. you know, and now they want to plug in their bookshelves and this and that, but one day, I think one day. Thank you for having us. This is awesome. I enjoyed it. Thank you for coming. Yes, we yes, enjoyed yes, talking yes. to you. It's Absolutely. Nice, nice to talk to someone other than each other. Yes. <laughs> well, well, shout out to Florida people. That's right. We're only two and a half hours away. That's yeah. right. That's right. Sure. Putting Florida on the map. Right? Absolutely. Next product we release, you know, I hope you come down again. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Hold us to that. Come down. Gorn, did you have a good time? I had a great time. Good. <laughs> did you learn something? A few things. Okay, good. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Just Shelly. Just Shelly. Perfect. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Bye.